If you've taken some of my other classes, you most likely use the Shape Builder tool uh, outside of the Width tool. The Shape Builder tool is probably one of my most used tools when creating symbols for logo marks. So this is how the Shape Builder tool works. If you already know how, to sh the, how the Shape Builder tool works, go ahead and skip this lesson. You're good to go. This is going to be the very basics here. So I'm going to create a simple ellipse tool. So I'm just going to do a simple circle. Let's go ahead and get that filled in with the color. And let's say I want to combine, you can combine and subtract shapes really easily using this tool. So let's say I grab another circle, let's make that a different color, and I want to subtract the space that's created with these two shapes. So let's say I want to create uh, a subtraction of that. I'm going to go, ho go ahead and highlight both of these items. That's important. you got to highlight all your items you want to work with with the Shape Builder tool. And the Shape Builder tool is going to be right here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. There's the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to go ahead and select that. So as you hover over, it's going to give you options to select. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a subtraction. So if I don't press anything, you see that addition sign is going to add. I can click on this and I can add those two shapes together as one shape, which can be very handy when you're doing complex logo design symbols. So let's say I want to subtract. I can hold down the Alt or the Option key and I have this little negative symbol. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You can kind of see what that looks like and I could subtract any of these items. So if I want to subtract that, I can, or if I want to subtract this middle one, I hold down the option key and I click and I can subtract. So that's kind of how the Shape Builder tool works. Uh, we could create a very simple graphic here using the Shape Builder tool so we can get a little bit of practice. So let's say we want to build a little cute robot for a particular brand or logo mark. Uh, so we're just going to use just these basic shapes and create kind of a more complicated little uh, symbol just using the Shape Builder tool. So I have the just the rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw the body and I'm going to go down um, and kind of round these corners out a little bit. And then do the little body here. I'm going to do the um, rectangle tool. Let me go down to the rounded rectangle tool so I can just go ahead and get that effect right off the bat. And I can always change the effect of the rounded corners. Here's a little robot. Let's say we want to have um, different objects here. Let's say we want to have a little bit of piping between his neck. So we're going to do that. We'll just round that off. And here's another little shortcut trick that I'll be using throughout the class. I'm going to select an object, hold down the option key and drag, and you can duplicate. I'm just holding down the option key and dragging. That's a quick way to duplicate instead of having to sit there and copy and paste and copy and paste. So I'm going to hold down option, drag, and I just replicated that. So let's go ahead and draw the outline of the little robot here. We can always, once again, if this was a complicated shape and we wanted to have an outline of this, I could just go to Object, Path, Offset Path, do a negative, and just like that, I have that shape created. Make it white so you can see how quick that was to make. I can make little eyeballs, make that green. I'm going to hold down the Option key and drag and get our little option here. We're going to, of course, add little details. I can go, instead of having to copy and paste the circle and make it a little bit bigger to add kind of a stroke effect, I go to Object, Path, Offset Path, do an addition. So I'm going to set, take away the subtraction sign, make it a little bit bigger, and click OK. So now I can make these white. And there we go. I just had a little stroke there. You can also just do a stroke. But once again, sometimes with complicated objects, strokes don't always work, but sometimes they can. Kind of change the shape of the body here, make it a little more balanced. Okay, we can just uh, kind of click and drag since I already like the shape, create little legs, or we can just go ahead and copy and paste these little items here. I can just do an option, drag, and then I can just do option, drag. So we have our little guy here. Not too exciting, but just kind of showing you what we could do here. So here's what I did to kind of create that shape. So you can go down and you can just do one of them. You can do all of them right here. Or you can go up here to the shape option up here and you could just change one side. So as long as these are all linked, so those are all linked, all the sides are going to change together. But let's say I just want that top corner to be rounded. You can unlink it, and I'm just going to do this top right corner right here, and I'm just going to increase it to kind of create a little bit of a shoe there. And then I can just copy and paste this or do option drag. 
and reflect it. So just go to Object Transform and I'm just going to reflect. I use that a lot. I use reflect a lot when I'm trying to do symmetrical type of designs. Zoom out. There's our little robot. We could do arms. We can go all detailed, but we'll just kind of maybe add some buttons. All right, so there's our robot. So how do we use the Shape Builder tool to punch all this out? Because right now, if I were to draw a background, let's say it's a let's say it's a dark blue background. I'm going to right click, send this all the way to the back layer. So right now we have a problem because we have this white. We really want that to be punched out. We want that to show the background behind it. So this is where the Shape Builder tool really comes in handy. We can make this kind of one object and fuse it all together. So here's how what we're going to do. We're going to try to start with the top. So we're going to have our main shape here. So with the Shape Builder tool, you want to select all objects that you want to be involved. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire head. And then I'm going to go grab my Shape Builder tool and I'm going to be able to punch out some things. So I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and I'm going to punch out the eyes and punch out this. So you can see how I was able to make kind of uh, punch that out. It could, it's all transparent there, which works really nice as a logo symbol. And same thing for this. Let me make sure I reduce that doop, doop, a little bit. And uh, a lot of times with the Shape Builder tool, it doesn't like strokes very much. Um, so what we can do is just go to Object, Path, we could just outline, outline the path or outline the stroke there. And we can go ahead and select everything we want to be involved. So just the body. And then we're going to get the Shape Builder tool. I'm going to punch all these white portions out just like we did the head. And just like that. And eventually, let me go ahead and make this white. There's a little robot symbol. So eventually we want to join all these together because right now they're separate elements. Uh, for right now, you could just simply right click and group and you have yourself an element here. But let's say I want to fuse this all as one object for whatever reason, we want to create a stroke or drop shadow or something where we really need them all together. Um, you could just use, you can join and fuse all those together with the Shape Builder tool. I'm not holding down option because I want to add. This is addition. And all I am is going to select all the little objects here select them all and there we go it's building a shape so you know there's a lot of different things you can do with the shape builder tool there's our little robot we created where we're able to punch all those little items out which comes in handy because you never want to have to use white ink if you don't have to um, you want to reduce the amount of colors that you have to use you can also use the shape builder tool with typography so i have this little active typography here i'm going to right click and i'm going to create outlines I'm going to select both objects, both the background and the green test kind of lettering. I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool and I'm just going to hold down Option. I can subtract lettering from that black box. And so now I have this. So let's go ahead and show you an example of what this is doing. So now it's transparent underneath. And so I can arrange, send that to back so you can kind of see how I was able to kind of punch that out a little bit with the type. So you can see how handy all these different tools uh, put together. If you uh, master the width tool, the shape builder tool, the offset path tool, the grunge effect and using layered uh, our layering mass, if you can kind of really get comfortable with what we went over in this section, you'll have pretty much all the basic tools and knowledge you need to create all the logos we're going to create in the rest of the class. So in that way we have just some basics, we got everything set up, we kind of went over some basic tools, we're ready to create our first fully fledged logo. Thank you.